So hello and welcome to a uh, Film Mixologist. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different uh, than we do generally, and this is going to be about um, my lawnmower. Now, last weekend uh, I was kind of cutting my grass, and all of a sudden the machine came to a to a very sudden halt uh, in a pipe, and it was on the ground, uh, and I tried to turn it and the, the machine is completely stuck and I found this little bit of metal on the ground that this isn't really a really good sign um, so what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try to disassemble this uh, see what's wrong with it do a bit of an autopsy and try to see if I can fix it so that's the task for today basically Okay, so let's see what's wrong here. Um, evidently, this thing has completely shared off this flywheel, and also in the process of sharing off, it also broke uh, this that keeps this pickup. It, this this must be the inductive pickup for the uh, for the sparks. So therefore, um, I think this is the problem with this engine. Um, so what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to try to do the right thing and just just put a touch of JB Weld uh, and try to epoxy it in place and see if I can get uh, the engine running again. So I took the cover off now and as you can see things are well quite bad in the sense that for example the flywheel has a very big crack here and I think that's gonna be um, <clears throat> that's gonna be difficult to sort out um, but that's never stopped me trying before so let's try and see if I can take this off and start see how I can patch it back together so I worked out that the small part I showed you at the beginning uh, of the video belonged actually to the flywheel um, at the back here. Um, so what I did is obviously I created a kind of I've, I've done it with epoxy and I use these two vice grips as a kind of holding down device. Um, so that's curing and now I'm going to move on to the uh, uh, putting together flywheel. So onwards and upwards uh, with this saga now, as you see, this is broken up in three pieces. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix it with the good old two component epoxy. It takes about, it says it takes like 48 hours or 24 hours to, to, to cure properly. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it the amount of time it needs to cure. Um, <coughs> And then hopefully I'll, I'll have um, a new flywheel and I need to obtain some sort of wood rough key or something. I'll just... Thank you. 
So here's the morning after um, and actually what I did find, what I managed to find is this key, this locating key and this is fundamental for this build because this goes there and it acts as the locator for the flywheel. So now that that and the flywheel now as you can see here is is well stuck together basically so now what I need to do is I need to do a couple of trial fits in here make sure everything more or less fits together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to once I do the final the, the final fitting of the flywheel uh, I am going to kind of epoxy it in because obviously as you can see as you can see here this this area is is not very good so therefore I think the the flywheel needs to be stuck uh, to this piece in order because if not the timing is going to be a bit off and this and and the other thing that I did I think you can see down there is I will I epoxy back this to these two towers um, so now I think we're more or less ready to start mocking up the build and I might need to file a few things and just and just make sure I remove all the sharp edges from here. Okay, so now the flywheel is in place. What I did is I, I placed it and I put um, a socket on top and I and I gave it a couple of very gentle taps with a rubber hammer. I don't want to bash it in place too much uh, because I don't want it to uh, I don't want to damage the piece. But I'm gonna give it a couple of um, I'm a, I'll give it a couple of taps um, so that it's so so that the piece is in place solidly. It is quite solidly in. There is no play, and then I need to obviously wait until the epoxy in there dries out. But I can start building up all the rest of the components now. So I've got the flywheel installed here, um, and, and this is this part is okay. But now I've run into a, another problem, which is this, that the towers that held the, um, the inductive pickup for the ignition, uh, they would just, the, the world just wasn't strong enough. So what I'm going to have to do now is I'm going to try a plan B here, which is going to be drilling this further, further down and trying to put some metal pins in here. To be able to better support and okay so this is phase one i've already done i've drilled a hole and with a tap i created a thread here so i'm going to get a section of threaded rod uh, to go here and i just need to kind of protrude a bit so i just need to measure this and I need to try and now doing the same on this one it's going to be a bit more complicated because it's, it's very much against against the engine so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just sink the threaded rod but if I've got a bit a bit of thread in each one then that's going to make the um, this little towers um, um, much harder to move <laughs> 